It will probably, unfortunately, get worse before it gets better. Something I don't like saying about things, but that's the way it is. Donald Trump holding his first coronavirus briefing since April, uncharacteristically acknowledging the deepening U.S. coronavirus crisis. Seems largely in Sunbelt, but could be spreading. In California alone, the state's total cases now surpassing 400,000. COVID-19 hospitalizations breaking records almost daily. And for the week-long period that ended Monday, 674 deaths were reported in California, the highest weekly total to date. And now Trump, who until recently resisted wearing a mask in public, saying... We're asking everybody that when you are not able to socially distance, wear a mask, get a mask. Uh, whether you like the mask or not, uh, they have an impact, they'll have an effect, and we need everything we can get. But noticeably absent from the stage, medical experts. Welcome to The Lead. I'm Jake Tapper. About an hour before the briefing, Dr. Anthony Fauci appearing on CNN with anchor Jake Tapper. I was not invited up to this point. I'm assuming that I'm not going to be there because it's going to be in just a short while and I'm still here at the NIH. Earlier in the day, Tapper praising Canada's virus response on breakfast television Toronto. How Canada has handled the COVID-19 crisis obviously has not been perfect, but it has been nice to see some political unity, uh, people working together even if they oppose each other politically. Back to the U.S., the Centers for Disease Control reporting Tuesday antibody tests show virus rates are at least 10 times higher than confirmed cases. The update at the podium coming a day after Trump revealed his plans to bring back the briefings. A lot of people were watching, and that's a good thing. Almost three months to the day since the sometimes hours-long, near-daily news conferences. I'm not a doctor, but I'm like a person that has a good you-know-what. Came to an end after Trump made that baffling and dangerous suggestion that disinfectants could be used to treat coronavirus patients. The disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection? The COVID-19 crisis worsening in the U.S. since that briefing on April 23rd, when there were about 875,000 infections. More than 3 million cases have now been added to that total. As for deaths three months ago, the virus had claimed about 49,000 American lives, according to Reuters tally. The current death toll, now about 100,000 higher, at more than 140,000. Trump bringing back the briefings as he's sinking in the polls, many putting him behind Joe Biden by double digits. Of course, lots can change before November's U.S. presidential election. Melissa Duggan, City News.